imagine that you are an atom and you can only view the world from one direction and when you look into the world the only thing you can see is uh, some electrons in a subshell in an atom there is a formula for the number of electrons per, per shell in the first subshell there can be two electrons and then it can be six and then ten and so on uh, in this software I can move uh, more in closer in uh, this is a spiral that rotates uh, 360 degrees for every subshell and the red dot indicates where the, the end of the cycle is so I, Im I pictured the space as a uh, screw which the atom is pushing the particles in a direction by using this rule it does not push directly but it uses uh, uh, it is uh, energy but this is not a, a one uh, atom control but uh, a complex interaction between all atoms and the idea was that this effect doesn't end in the atom only but keeps going in uh, in space and uh, I call this spin because it is a kind of um, uh, it's not rotation or moving in a normal sense but uh, <laughs> there are no words to describe this because everything else except spin is described by space and time so uh, I have another software to show you this is, was the software I ma made the, the movie particle uh, cubes which you can see and here is a spiral and when uh, this is the center it doesn't have to be an atom, you can be anywhere in space and uh, uh, that is um, kind of like a photon you send in in an atom and then it um, reacts on by the picture it has of the atom in that point and when the f more uh, particles there are in a specific region you can see the red line is getting uh, at a certain distance so it pushes or it bends the space and gravity is a cur curvature of space and this looks like this when you move it around and the thing is that, that all these positions are true at the same moment for all particles so um, that means like the particles are spread out in space like waves or, or something if I, I select paint I can create a, um, a move around very fast and create a picture of what how what does this look like if the photon has a high frequency the distances between the, the particles get smaller and if it has a low it gets large so this is a low frequency we don't see much of the spiral 
But if I drag this slider a bit up, and we get a... Uh, no, the thing I said was wrong, the frequency is the opposite. The, the higher frequency, the, the more space. And when I do adjust the frequency to a higher value, we get a more nicer picture, more details of the of uh, the particles. So this is not real physics; it's it's a, a theoretical information kind of like coordinate system, because. In practical application, this is useless because we we need the concept of time to interpret results. But the nature of probability is like this. Because when you send in a photon in an atom, you can hit any place. And at the same time, you, uh, all the particles in an uh, atom is part of the same wave function. You can say that this, this is that uh, point, because uh, it could be that point that is reflected there. Uh, it Everything depends on the symmetry of the figure you choose. I can... Um, I can select another, for example, uh, this one. Here I have empty space and I have two columns of particles. So in the middle there are is a uh, little space but it grows when it touches the region. This uh, uh, formula could be um, formed like a sector with curved um, instead of triangle but uh, it, it works to just show the concept and uh, when I see at distances I see a lot of concentration where the wall is but and uh, a mixture in the middle. So let's say, let's watch uh, how is it like when I paint, paint the picture. So I had to send lots of lots of uh, photons. Uh, there is something wrong with the like okay let's try again this is just a um, experiment application so Okay, I think uh, it's because uh, there are um, when there are more particles, it takes longer time. This uh, uh, I have several versions of uh, this, um, where and this uh, is not using the optimization.
Okay, now we see the pattern is common. And you get a feeling like it is something from an electron microscope of, or something. So this is not a, the idea is not conflicting with the common belief in science uh, because this is a, at a very very low level so the effects of this is not visible f uh, to us b uh, before we ha have at a very high level and uh, we are also so depending on time that we can't uh, extract the actual mechanism from it and therefore we have probability waves or uh, or functions, wave functions, to describe how it behaves. So, and um, it's very accurate, uh, accurate too. But uh, um, using a simple formula, you can uh, create a, a kind of mechanism that um, simulates the same thing. So it is a sh to show that um, it is possible to describe uh, how the relationship between frequency and measurement in a in a different level than um, the the normal uh, physics. Okay, uh, you can also check the particle cubes vi video, which is a three dimensional. It's not very good, but um, we will fly through um, some particle cubes. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this.